Hi Taurus, welcome to your July 2018 reading. I uh, hope you're well. Same sketch as before, three card major arcana reading, reading towards me with some clarifiers. Doubtless. Oops, stick them back in the pack. Uh, I will then be pulling uh, one from the swords, one from the wands, one from the pentacles and one from the cups to flesh things out a little bit. So, one more shuffle for you, Taurus. One more cut. Let's see what we get. Oh, there it is anyway. <laughs> Itredici, the Reaper, death in the upright. Magician in reverse. Judgment in reverse. Wow. I was going to call it a pokey reading, but, you know, it's major arcana all the way, so it's bound to be pokey. Pretty intense. Right, let me just have a little think about this. Okay. Do you know what I see here, Taurus, is the, the phrase, let's go around again, more of the same. Because there's a perception on your part this month that um that there's more change going on than actually is and um i do wonder whether you're kind of telling yourself a little bit of a story about that because the first card out in this three card spread represents things as you see them what, what, how you come to the reading. So there is this sense of um, transformation or impending transformation um, out of your hands, um, things being kind of swept away. And perhaps you'd quite like that. <laughs> maybe that. Maybe that might actually be a little bit convenient for you. Who knows? Who knows? I mean, who knows what's brought you to this reading? Um, there might be a bit of a mess on your hands, um, for, you know, of some sort or another. And it might actually, you know, be a bit of a sweet release. Um, but the reality of the situation is judgment in reverse. So, I mean... Personally, I, I I don't see <laughs> personal <laughs> bloody tarot card reading. Of course, it's personal. Um, I don't see. It's not a lack of a second chance. It's <sighs> okay. The earth is not going to get tilled up and turned over this month. There's going to be continuation of the current situation but I, this card in the middle here the magician in reverse usually represents to me a kind of snake oil merchant sleight of hand um, and, and manipulativeness but i just need to have a little think to see whether i uh, that's uh, what i whether that's what's uh, coming onto the table here in conjunction with these two other cards yeah i'll tell you what i see i just see mouse on a wheel mouse on a wheel it's just going round and round and round and round and round and not getting anywhere and the illusion of um change the illusion of something new of a new phase um and somehow this illusion being backed up by talk but what's actually happening is um more of the same now, this might not necessarily be a bad thing. I mean, OK, I'll be honest. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what's coming through here. You think you need more change in your life than you actually do. There is more wealth in you already. Than you. Could possibly know. But there's. There's some advantage being taken of you. I've got to say, I'm really sorry. There's a, someone or something is taking advantage of you and your humility. All right, I'll come straight out and say it. Your humbleness, your humility, your 
refusal to to see and to celebrate your great wealth, inner wealth, shall I say. And that's a shame. It's a real shame. Um, it's like somebody coming and kind of planting their garden on your land and telling you that... Uh, you know, you, 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 you can't really grow anything here because the soil's not really good. The soil's not really very good here. It's not very fertile uh, in your garden. Uh, but I'm, I'm just going to stick my plants in here anyway when they know full well that the soil is rich and full of life and capable of supporting great variety and great abundance. That's what you have, Taurus, in your earth is, is great wealth and um because you're not the kind of person who goes around like bragging about that great wealth uh sometimes you forget yourself that it's there <laughs> because you know it's it's really it's really tricky if you were to acknowledge to yourself that that great wealth is there then being the the honest straight talking um you know, mean what you say, say what you mean, um, nothing extraneous, nothing left out and nothing um, nothing kind of unnecessary in your speech, you would be telling people how wealthy you are, how rich your soil is. You don't want to do that because you're not a show off. And so somehow this kind of works in reverse where you end up basically walking around like, like you've got like barren soil in your heart when the absolute opposite is true. And some people are willing, Taurus, to take advantage of that because they can see, they can see how beautiful and lush the, the, the garden is with you. They can see it, but they can see that you don't see it. So they go, oh, no, these plants you've grown here, no, 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 not very good. Let me come and put mine in there. I mean, I'll kind of do you a favour, you know, really, because your soil's not really that good. But, you know, I've got a few extra seeds I need to plant, so I'll just stick them in here, okay? Yeah, planting their, seal, their seeds on your soil and reaping the abundance from your garden because you're just too damn nice to be upfront with yourself and with others about just how rich you are. That's the message I'm getting from this Taurus. Um, I'm just wondering, do, 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 yeah, I'm going to get one more on this. Judgment in the reverse. Oh, temperance in reverse. Okay. Well, you know, all any kind of scryer, diviner, reader can do is kind of point uh, point out a sign and say, look, there's a road down there, or look, there's something there. Maybe you should have a look at it. Um, temperance in the reverse. Um I think it's going to be a bit of a rocky month. I see self-doubt. Self-doubt. Self-doubt being played on with the magician in reverse. And a sense of imbalance, a sense of instability in yourself. Um, and a kind of, with judgment in the reverse here, a kind of, a, a lack of, of accurate reckoning of what's actually in your treasure chest, and suddenly I see the treasure at the feet of the Grim Reaper here. That's what he's pulling in. Treasure, weapons, your gold, knowledge in the book. So we have, we have wealth, power, and knowledge being swept away in his side. The only thing that's left, oh, my bloody camera won't focus on it, the only thing that's left is the artist's palette, your own creativity, Taurus. That's where it's at. Um, I really wish I could tell you to just, you know, see for goodness sake what you already have in your coffers. Because sometimes not seeing what you have in your coffers means that you leave the door open and this dude can come in and help himself. Let's pull one from the swords. 
Okay, Page of Swords. Yeah, sweet tall car. Look at him, so graceful. Almost feminine. <laughs> I'm not going to get into that. Look at him there in his red boots. Isn't he gorgeous? Such poise, such elegance. But I'll tell you what, that sword is sharp. It's nice words, sweet words. In the context of this reading, this is um, this is a wordsmith. Yep, more communication. The only way somebody like this, the magician in reverse here, can achieve this is to keep you distracted with talk and talk and talk. And look over there and look over this. And did I tell you about this? And what blah, 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 blah. Oh, my God. This is someone who never stops. Someone is... <laughs> this dude is just going to be on and on and on. And the reason... All this communication is coming in, is to keep you distracted and, yeah, out of balance and, I won't say off your guard, but um, in a bit of a whirl, Taurus. You know, like one of those, um, yeah, like a sleight of hand merchant who just keeps you distracted and keeps you engaged with endless bloody chat. And while they're doing it, they're lifting your wallet. Because as far as you're concerned, you've got so little in it, you can just stick it in your pocket. There's no zip. There's no fastening on your pocket. It's just, oh, yeah, it's just my wallet. Oh, God, if you knew how much was in there. They do. Page of Pentacles. Okay, I'm going to put him down and pull the cups. Okay, we've got nine of cups. Now, let me see how this all works. Oh, man. Taurus, you are so much wealthier than you think you are. And, of course, I'm talking internal wealth. I'm not talking money. Yeah, because, the, I mean, the real wealth isn't necessarily the money because, you know, you spend it, it's gone. The real wealth is in the bedrock of you inside because that's where stuff grows. And, you know, how interesting that we have this page of swords here with these beautiful words just coming and coming and coming and coming and coming at you and keeping you kind of putting you in, yeah, in a bit of a whirl for their own advantage, Taurus, for their own advantage. And I can see that. From the magician in reverse. Uh, what a contrast between the page of swords and the page of pentacles. I'm, I'm seeing really with this page of pentacles. Uh, be aware Taurus. This is the whole message of this. Of how wealthy you are. You know there, there's nothing funny going on here with this. There's nothing. I mean yeah he's striking a nice pose as well. But <laughs> I was saying this. In this reading, you know, this is this is just grace. This is poise and an offer. But Taurus, it's an offer of, of um, what you already have. But in a sense, if you don't know you've got it, you don't have it because you can't put it to any use. And the Nine of Cups. What am I seeing here? Okay, it's the fact that it's a nine. I know, okay, you say, oh, of course, it's a nine of cups. But it's the nine. It's so close to fulfillment. It's so close. It's just one more kind of chink of light required. One more degree of opening of your inner eyes at, to, to view the garden within Taurus, you're so, so, so close. But I see this month distraction to your disadvantage. Sorry, it's sugar-free tarot. That's the way it goes. Is I, I, I say what I see. All best, Taurus. Please tune in for another reading in due course. Bye-bye.